In the Middle East, India, and some African countries, the left hand is used for, uh, cleaning yourself up after you go to the bathroom. Ew, it In makes... South India, you can't even touch the plate with your left hand since it's considered too dirty to be anywhere near f What's good, y'all? It's the Demon Shucks React, and we're back, back with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today, we are back with another American reaction. We'll be Yo. reacting to etiquette rules around the world. We're super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit the red subscribe button, Do that. and turn on the post notification bell, because we're on the road to 50 50. Okay. And we cannot get there without you guys. So Alright? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Boom! The okay. burgers! That look good. 12 unexpected food etiquette rules oh, from around the world. I like it. Okay. If one man's meat is another man's poison, then you could also say one man's fork is another man's weapon in some parts of the world. Okay. When you travel abroad and adventurously try the local cuisine in a traditional setting, you might notice how a certain country's table manners are very different from Oh, we got a talking weenie. Seriously, who would have thought that asking for salt and pepper could be considered I impolite? I never ate that before. Of course, you don't want to embarrass yourself or come off as rude or barbaric. So here are 12 quite okay. unexpected food Stop etiquette pepper? rules from across Forks? the globe. Before we sit down and dine around the world, be sure to subscribe to our channel for your chance to always fill your belly, er, brain that is, with all kinds of surprising facts and useful advice. Once you've clicked that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the updates do coming the out here. Yeah, wow, we're just thinking the same thing! Okay, back to our list. 12. Don't use forks in Thailand. Okay. okay. No, it's not forks and spoons that are a no-no here, just forks. And it's not like you can't use a fork, you just can't eat from one. Let me explain. What? In Thailand, picking food up with a fork is considered bad form. However, you are allowed to push food onto a spoon using a fork. That's it. Uh. And if you think you can't go wrong with just sticking to chopsticks, you better forget about it if you're having rice. It's traditionally served on plates, not bowls, and a spoon is what you need to enjoy it the Thai way. Okay, um, do y'all eat pasta in Thailand? What about spaghetti? Like with the sauce? Like y'all use the fork to push it on a spoon and then it slips off and then y'all struggle? I mean, maybe because they... Chopsticks! Why not the forks? I don't understand. Because, I mean, at the beginning of the video, he did say one man's fork is another man's um, weapon. weapon. So, right. maybe that's why? I mean, but you couldn't, you couldn't have that many attacks of a fork in a restaurant, right? Well, maybe it took one person to stab somebody and they like, no forks. But it also says bad they farm. They use it, though. But it says bad farm. They use it, but not to eat with. Like, if you eat with a fork and you eat with a spoon, what's the farm that we looking at? They don't eat with it at all. What if they're eating cereal with a fork? How do y'all eat steak? They push cereal it on the spoon. With a... You can't. I know, right? But it's pushing it on with a spoon. They cut it with the knife and the fork, and then they put down the utensils, pick up the spoon, and then they, a lot of rotating going on. <laughs> a lot of rotating. A lot of rotating. Sound like you'll be the person they looking at in the restaurant like. Put it down. <laughs> put it down. Eleven. Don't clean your plate oh, in no. China. Gotta eat them all. What's the best way to show the cook you really liked your meal? Eat up every single morsel on your plate, right? Bert. Maybe even ask for more if you really enjoyed it. In China, however, it's impolite to finish eating everything on your plate. Empty plates indicate that a host hasn't served enough food and oh. guests are still hungry. Okay. So if you want to compliment the chef or host, leave some food on your plate no matter how tasty it is. Oh, yes, okay. you'll need to control yourself somehow. Oh, and believe it or not, belching at the table isn't just That's acceptable, nice. but yeah. also a great way to show you're enjoying the meal. Oh. Okay, so it's the ox. 
I like it. Nice. Okay, this one this this one was a little sensible for me, yeah. right? Because mm-hmm. for one, yeah, if I'm serving you and you didn't eat all your food, two things can happen. Either you didn't like it, mm-hmm. or you enjoyed it and you couldn't finish it. Right. I, I like that. I like uh, it. No belching. Well, I don't. I I feel like that's impolite. Like nah. Nah. <laughs> this is a burp thing. You can smell what you ate. Right. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Hey, but, but it, they, it, they it makes like sense. It, it does make because sense. Because it's so it that you're eating and you're enjoying. Mm-hmm. I, I don't see nothing wrong with it. And be ready to share a plate in Ethiopia. What? <laughs> As you sit at the table in Ethiopia waiting for someone to give you a plate to eat from, you might miss the actual meal. Everyone else will just eat from one large serving plate in the middle of the table without using any cutlery. That's cool. For many locals, getting a plate to yourself is weird and even wasteful. Only grab from the part of the serving dish closest to you. Reaching across is considered rude. Also, wait for the end of the meal to enjoy the meat dishes. They're the last thing to be eaten. It's a lot of order. That's different. Yeah, so That's Ethiopia, different. we all gotta eat together as a family. They they done brought a new meaning to eating together as a family. We do that. Yes. Like especially after the kids and ate everything and we cook our food last, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? We got like a big plate of fries that we wanna just chew off mm-hmm. on. We don't make two plates. We just right. put it on one and we just go in. But I think what they're doing, like you know, like um our soul food dinners. How we put mm. all of our cornbread together, how we put all of our collard greens together. I think they're saying that they eat from those larger things so do they at least well no i was gonna ask do they pass plates yeah pass plate around they said they see that as um unuseful so i mean yeah 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 you're right but the thing is though let's say that maybe you have three people on the other side of the table because i don't see anyone making no huge plate for 12 people and they all can eat from it at the same time you gotta pass Mm -hmm. a plate around at least Mm -hmm. they say no so if i have a plate (laughs) and you know my little cousin over there and my little nieces or nephews over there want something some bread and put it and then I pass it all the way down, then they eat from that one plate. Is that wrong? They say they don't pass plates. Oh, no passing the plates? No, no. No. So, there's just crumbs everywhere, basically, huh? Yeah, you got a lot of cleaning up to do, babe. Uh-uh, you got to roll out of the big tablecloth. We just, we just roll it back out there, everybody done. For real. Nine. In Italy, <laughs> you'll insult thing. the chef if you ask for extra cheese. Cheese? We love cheese. I don't know about you, but the more cheese on my pizza or pasta, the better. Bro, well, come y'all on. Better put a lot Although of cheese Italians on Italians do love this product, it's considered rude to ask for extra cheese. It oh may insult God. the chef because they take it as you're you not like the dish like the way they prepared it and wanting to change Bang. it. And get ready for this. Adding Parmesan to your pizza is also considered pretty crazy. Plus, not all pasta dishes are supposed to go with Parmesan either. Hey, Italians are known for their incredible culinary arts, mm-hmm. so let's just take it from the experts. Y'all, hey listen, I had mentioned earlier, I don't know if anyone caught this, but I said that one day I would love to take my family into mm-hmm. a six month, six month vacation to experience different countries, different right. worlds, and see how things go. I'm taking notes. Yes, yes, definitely. this is crazy. That, now we love pasta in our house, mm. okay? We love cheese in our house. I'm gonna mm-hmm. need the chef to like just pour a lot of cheese on yeah. there. You don't, I don't want me to need ask this, for I don't more. Need this one here. I need this one. Yeah, it's like we Put love some me. cheese. So, mm. but Italy, I love like Italy is one of my top, top five, especially for sauces foods. and pizza and stuff yes. like that. Oh yeah, yes, definitely. Eight. Don't ask for salt and pepper in Portugal. Just like you shouldn't ask ask for extra cheese in Italy, you can erase the phrase, could you please pass me the salt from your vocabulary if you are in Portugal. If you ask for salt and pepper here, you may hurt people's feelings. It's kind of like with Italy, the cook may feel insulted by the fact that you need to spice up the dish they've served you. Plus, if you're eating local, you probably won't even need to add any more seasonings to your food. I mean, these chefs are highly skilled and respected. Not that believe that. The best meal of your life. Oh yeah. Okay. I believe that 100. percent Seven. Be careful with chopsticks in Japan. Oh lord. That can see is not. Let's mm. imagine you're dining in Japan. Damn it, chopsticks feel like the best utensil to go with. Yet when you stick them in your rice bowl, you get surprised looks. What's the faux pas here? Well. 
It's not recommended to stand your chopsticks up vertically in the land of the rising sun. According to tradition, people place chopsticks vertically during funerals. In a restaurant, doing this may insult the owner. So, to avoid an awkward situation, set your chopsticks down parallel to the edge of the table in front of you if you're taking a break between bites. That's more like people asking who died. Right. Six. Don't touch food with your left hand in the Middle East. Right. In the Middle East, India, and some African countries, the left hand is used for uh, cleaning yourself up after you go to the bathroom. Ew, it in makes... South India, you can't even touch the plate with your left hand since it's considered too dirty to be anywhere near food. So if you ever find yourself in this part of the world, remember to go with your right hand to eat or socialize. And what should you do if you're left-handed? I was gonna ask that Go question. without eating? Of course not. Just make sure you only use your left hand in that case, because for you, it's basically what a right hand is to right-handed people. Okay, because I was going to ask that question about the left hand because our son is left-handed. Yeah, yes, yeah. Whoo, child, when we do go to these places, we're going to have to, like, really study. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want nobody coming out the kitchen talking about, you don't do that. Yeah. He's like, whoa, 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 what's happening? What's happening? Get out. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Peanut butter go in your right hand. <laughs> <laughs> Not your left. I don't know, sir. Okay. I'm sorry. Can I stay? Yeah. Can I finish? <laughs> Five. Don't just sip on your wine in Georgia. Wait, what? Why am I not allowed to slowly sip on my wine they in one of the major drunk. wine regions in the world? <laughs> well, it all comes down to the art of toasting, which Georgians do not take lightly. Mm. Only after someone at the table finishes their long, beautiful, heartfelt story of how they're wishing everyone present good health and love can you drink your wine. And you have to drink the whole glass at once. Bottoms up. Oh, no. Shot, 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 shot. That's what it is. Take yeah. a lot of shots. Four. Don't fill your own glass okay. in Japan. Oh. <laughs> if you find yourself at a dinner party in Japan and wine is enough, nice. never get a refill yourself. You're supposed to fill the glass of the person sitting next to you at the table, and they'll return the favor. If you okay. can't wait for your refill and decide to ignore the friendly neighbor rule, don't be surprised when you get disapproving looks. So, just be patient and respectful. I like that. It's art. I like that. That is art. Mm -hmm. So, it, I, I must have missed it, but I think you said wait till your neighbor do it for you? Yeah, your neighbor has <clears> to <throat> do it for you, and you gotta do it for them. Mm. And then when you, they have to drink it all? No, that was the That's other, other one. one. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm just making sure we. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. Three. Only drink cappuccino before noon in Italy. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's a sunny afternoon in Rome. You get yourself a cappuccino and a nice little dessert, and you're getting weird glances from everyone around. Italians do drink cappuccinos, of course but it's mostly a breakfast drink, or even a substitute for breakfast. But if you drink this milky, foamy coffee later in the day, it can upset your stomach, at least according to the locals. No one will say anything to you or get offended, but they'll immediately know you're a tourist. <laughs> so if you're looking to blend and fit in, grab an espresso after 12 p.m. and get that caffeine boost you probably need around this time of the day anyway. Two, guests are welcomed with half a cup of tea in Kazakhstan. Okay. When we think tea ceremony, we usually associate it with the UK and all their fancy tea drinking etiquette. But it turns out there are plenty of tea fans in Kazakhstan, and they've got rules when it comes to drinking it as well. Whenever you visit someone's home or even some company's office, you'll be offered a cup of tea. But that cup won't be filled to the brim. Before you start questioning your host's generosity, remember this. Half a cup actually means your hosts don't want you to leave Aww. soon. Pouring just half a cup is the host's way of letting you know that they want to keep your nice conversation going and keep pouring you piping hot tea. <laughs> if you get a full cup, however, it's a slight <laughs> hint that it's time to go home. Fill me back up. 
One, a clean teapot is a teapot without a soul in China. If you've been invited to a tea ceremony in China and offer your help with the dishes afterwards, don't even think about washing that teapot. The Chinese don't wash teapots, especially traditional clay ones, with dish liquid. It's mm. washed with water or special sand and then left to air dry. The okay. resulting plaque that has all the flavor and color of tea gives the teapot soul, <laughs> which is why it's prohibited to kill it with different cleaning chemicals. You don't want to upset the ancient Chinese tea spirits, do you? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> which of these customs... That is like us with our cast iron pots. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, we yeah. you have to clean it with a special um a little Brillo pad thingy. What is it? It's a rust sponge. Like you can't clean it with regular dish soap and you have to keep oil in it. Right. And then you look at it, you see how it, the burn and all the marks are on it, mm -hmm. so that can tell you that it's been around for a long time. Right, right. Passed down. Or right, passed down. <laughs> for real. Yo, a lot of shocking things in all these locations. Yes. Um some of them are art. Some of them are mind blowing. Mm -hmm. Right? I like the teapot thing. Yeah, I understand the hand so, thing. Yeah. But if you make it from clay, you know what I'm saying? Like, then it's generational at mm -hmm. that point. Because mm -hmm. pre I'm pretty sure it's passed down. Yeah, but what about the hand? Like, that was different. The left hand. That was hand. shocking. Because what about shocking. the people who use both hands? <laughs> the people who use both hands. Mm. But that's like, if you think about it, you sitting out there and everyone eating with their right hand and you bust out with your left and they look at you like, yo, you are disgusting. Uh-huh. Like, that's, I didn't know. Yeah. So. Now we do know. We learn something new every day. We hope you all enjoyed this video. Yeah. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell, and we have enabled our super thanks. If you would like to support the channel that way, Definitely. just look for the heart with the dollar sign in the middle. No pressure. It's all up to you. We'll see y'all soon. Peace.